Hey yo, what is going on you guys? I'm Toby. Albert. <laughs> and welcome to Gamer's Take. Welcome back to the show. And today we're talking about The Last of Us. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the story here. I personally really loved it. And to talk about it a little bit, if you guys have not never played this game, it's about this uh, older man. His name is Joel. And he loses his daughter in the beginning of the apocalypse. Yeah. All right, so it's the uh, Cordyceps virus, and it pretty much is like a, it's a fungus that infects you, makes you pretty much crazy, and then transforms you the longer you've been exposed to it. You, you, we have all played this game. I mean, what are your thoughts as, as far as um, the story goes? His, 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 his daughter dying is predictable. Predictable. It was predictable. Pre okay. I was like, well, for me, I I was for like, me, it was not fucking predictable at all. It was like, okay, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna live, and then I was like, <laughs> I got pulled at the heartstrings a little bit. All right. I saw you coming. I was like, she's gonna. It's just, it's just because you're an asshole. That's it. All right. So <laughs> let's talk about a little bit of the characters. All right. So there's Joel and Ellie, the two main characters of this game. What are your thoughts on them? You think that their story ends with this game? Like, basically, it's like they go to this town I mean, and they just—they're probably—they're probably just gonna live there. Cause there's games, there's movies out there where they, they don't need a sequel. Uh huh. They don't need to make a part two. Uh huh. But yet to do, and it just shits on the game. Okay, but that's not always True. the yeah, game's yeah. fault. It's not—it's not always. It's just that's who, why they the people behind it that are. Make one. And they're not gonna make one. They're doing Naughty Dogs focusing on the Charter Four. That comes out next year, okay? Yeah, next year. What happens after that? Charter Six. I don't know. What? Five. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? They're gonna like, skip five and go to six. Five and go to six. <laughs> okay. No, Let's keep four. going. Let's talk about the clickers. Let's talk about the virus itself. In your point of view, do you think this is a um, a unique type of a take on you know post apocalyptic? You know, the infection. Uh, Clicker so assholes. You hate the clickers. Fuck yeah. I mean, nobody fucking likes clickers. They're a one-hit kill, at, at least for you. Which is stupid. That's not stupid. Can't you at least, like, sense. hold no. them back? No, you can't hold them back. They're stronger yeah. than you are, okay? It makes sense. Let's get into why we made this video, all right? There's been rumors, and then there's been a whole bunch of talk, and it makes sense why this might happen. After Uncharted 4, there might be a Last of Us Part 2. I personally think that I would like a Part 2 to this game. Um, continuing Joel's and Ellie's story, you know, with the fireflies and the hunters going after them. And who knows what happens after that. But um, at least as far as I want this game to be an amazing game, I believe in the hands of Naughty Dog, I think it will be just like Uncharted. A great game that just keeps continuing to get better, looking better, and just the story just keep getting better. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the story continuing? There should be a new branch, honestly. Because you know how some games they have where it's on the same place? Like Fallout. Yeah. I follow this. It's all during the same time, same place, but I mean different place, but same time. Mm -hmm. And they all kind of connect, I guess you can say. Mm -hmm. And I mean, maybe this game could be like that. Okay. If you guys um, have not also heard, there is a movie of The Last of Us coming out. As far as production goes, um, we haven't heard a whole lot about it. Um, there's been some rumors of who's going to play who. We'll probably talk about this in another video. As far as that goes, do you think they should make a movie uh, of this? Because it's still early in production. Do you think they can um, continue going on with it? Or do you think they should just scrap it and leave it as it is? Scrap it. Scrap it? So, I mean, no reason at all. Like, just scrap it. Scrap it, because, I mean, the game was fucking long, dude. Imagine the movie. If it wants to be long, sure it, it, could it. Be, it could be a three-hour movie. Yeah, but... But... They're going to take out... I'm pretty sure they're going to take out a bunch of scenes. And the game's important. Every scene is important in itself. Well, you also have to remember, a game, the reason why it's so long is because you it's play through it. Alright, so that's what makes it long, going through all these walking and all this other stuff, through the magic of movie editing. It could obviously be shorter. Alright guys, so, um, our friend Albert had to go, so let's continue, uh, going, going on with the show uh, without him. Alright, so, now it's your turn. Alright, if they're gonna make a second game of this, do you think that it should 
the, the story should be with Joel and Ellie, or do you think it should be a new story entirely? Maybe, maybe they should have involved Joel and Ellie, but maybe add like a new character. New, new characters? Yeah, like somebody to join them, not just only be them. Hmm. I mean, well, they've tried, they, they, remember, you gotta remember that in, uh, they did this in the game itself. You know, with um, uh, Sam and his brother, they were a part of their group, and then they died. So, if the story is to continue, and if you want to put them in there, I mean, if it's I, new, if, it, if it's a new story with new characters, and that's they're gonna um, have their own story, and it's gonna intersect with uh, Joel and Ellie's, it's gonna be somewhere in the future. Maybe Ellie might be a little bit older. Uh, obviously, Joel is already old as hell, but you know, that's the way I, I could possibly see it. Now, let's talk about the movie. It's in pre production with some rumors of who's playing who. So, what do you think? You think they should make a movie uh, based on this game? It'd be a good movie. It'd but be a good movie? It'd probably be too long. It'd be too long. So. But then there's movie editing. So it'd probably sum it down to like three hours. I mean,. If it's gonna be a long movie, it would probably be over like two and a half hours, maybe three hours. But um, you also have to remember that um, the game is long because you play it. Mm -hmm. In in the movie, it's ju it's just acted and it's edited yeah. it uh, faster. Um, but it could be a long movie. But in the movie, they'd probably just take all like all the good action scenes so, and maybe some like unnecessary scenes. Okay, so. Do you think that they should just uh, take everything from the game and then put it into the movie? Or do you think they should change things like um, like certain scenes will be a little bit different? Or do you think it should just be like a... Um, it should be a, entire, it, it, like a remake entire. of the game of a movie. Like the game into a movie. So, like, so you want everything the same. Yeah. Also, if you guys did not know this, that the uh, director of... Uh, or the creative director of the guy, uh, Neil... Duckman, uh, he's the one who actually was like um, the, the creative director of The Last of Us. He's helping out in The Last of Us, the movie. Um, he's already kind of said that um, there will be some changes from the game to the movie. So, you know, some people will like it, some people will not like it, but you gotta please the main audience mm -hmm. because the people that are gonna go see this movie are heavily gonna be video game, uh, the guys who played it and who loved the game. And then obviously the um, general audience will just see it and it'll be a great movie for them. For gamers, it's a little bit hard to please yeah. because, you know, sometimes we want everything to stay the same. So Other times we want... And enjoy it the way yeah. it was. Yeah, and then some, some of us want to see, okay, well, what else could they have done? You know, it's, it's kind of like, okay, well, we already played this. We already know what's going to happen. So we, we know how it ends, you know? Hey, yo, what's going on, you guys? Um, so we actually have a new member, uh, part of the group. And uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jazz. We brought you in here because we're talking about The Last of Us. And you've played it. And um, so we want to get your opinions. Uh, what did you think of the story? I liked the story, actually. It was pretty fun. Um, what did you think of uh, the characters of Joel and Ellie? I just like them, like, they're fun. What did you think of, um, as far as the clickers, uh, as far as the clickers go? I think they're pretty scary, especially to play at night. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is actually a pretty cool concept, um, you know, everybody's been trying to make, um, uh, post-apocalyptic games and it's nothing but zombies. Um, in this game, I don't think they're zombies. I think they're still people, but they're just have this ugly yeah. disease. Did you think that this disease is actually like a, a pretty cool concept that they actually came up with? Because yeah. it's actually real. It, it is? Yeah, it is real. No, it's not really. It's, it's real, but it doesn't affect us. It oh. affects like insects and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. So it's a pretty cool concept, right? So the reason why we're asking you this is because um, Naughty Dog is uh, gonna finish their um, is gonna finish Uncharted 4 coming next year. So afterwards, nobody really knows what they're gonna be doing. So we're kind of making this video. Everybody's kind of almost agreeing that it's gonna be probably the, the Last of Us 2. Do you think they should make um, a new game? I think they should, like, but with different characters. But with different characters. 
So that's actually one, one of the questions we were going to ask you. People were thinking that half the people think that they, the story should continue with those two characters because they just love those two characters. They, they were just amazing. But how are they going to continue it? Like, well, well, that's the question. So I don't know. We're going to see. If they were to uh, create a new game, would you like to see like uh, obviously new clickers yeah. and uh, new enemies? Now we're going to be talking about um, the movie. There is a movie of The Last of Us coming out. It's in pre-production. Uh, we don't know so much about it. But since it's in its early stages, do you think that they should uh, go ahead with this movie? I think they should. Like, I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, uh, do you think that this movie should uh, be exactly like the game or have, like, different things uh, change, like small things? I think, like, small things would be fine. Hey yo, what is going on, you guys? It's Toby here from Gamer Steak, and the following segment you're about to see is actually, um, uh... We came up with a question to ask all of our members of our channel and um, to ask all uh, the members of our channel um, the following question. And that is that if you were being chased by three clickers and you only had one weapon from the entire game of The Last of Us, what would it be and why? Even, even I answered them. Just so you guys do know, we did separate everybody uh, in their own individual video at different times, so there was no uh, cheating between anybody. And you're about to see their answers right now. Okay, if you're being chased by three clickers and you only have one weapon, what weapon would it be and why? I would choose the bottle. Put clip or no? Yeah, you already said three bullets, I can get fucked. I use the shotgun. All right, the three clickers are coming. Ugh, just toss it and just, just sneak away. Why would you choose the shotgun? Because blast radius isn't as powerful as shit. Okay, I'd choose a modified baseball bat. I think the nail bomb. And why would you choose that modified baseball bat? Kill the clickers. And why would you choose the nail bomb? Because it like explodes, I don't know, and goes boom. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button down there. It helps us out a lot. If you did like this video, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we make more videos just like this one. As well, if you thought this video completely sucked, there's a dislike button up down there or over here. Use as you wish, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.